I don't think I've ever looked at my butthole. As a straight man, I am. What is the gayest thing you've ever done? Is anal sex really that good? So what's something that gay men do that annoys you? What is a bussy? <laughs> you know how many comments and I DMs know. I've been getting asking where you went? What would you say if your son told you he was gay? gay. Hey guys, today I'm going to be with a very special guest for a long-awaited return. We have an explanation. We have some very awkward straight and gay questions for each other. Someone that you guys have been constantly asking questions about. He's finally back. So let's welcome him with open arms. What's up? What up? This is weird. I'm gay. This is my straight friend, Calvin. And we're going to be asking each other some awkward questions. Yup. <laughs> Make sure you guys smash the like if you're excited that Calvin is back and you are ready for this video. Ugh. You want to start? Yeah. First question. Let me pull it out. Here we go. That... Oh. Didn't mean I like mean, that. I mean. I mean. You know they all think we like. I big. know. They all think we're banging. I'm starting off with a little deeper one here. Are there any struggles in a gay relationship? that a straight relationship necessarily wouldn't understand, like they don't go through it. You know, most of them can kind of be just tweaked slightly. Like I was gonna say, maybe your parents aren't accepting, but like straight couples, I mean, definitely have that. It's kind of just like in a different way, but mm. I would say feeling like they have to hide their PDA anywhere. Mm. Gays, definitely certain areas, certain places. I mean, it's literally illegal in some places and like you will be killed That's if crazy. you are, if you're kissing your man in public, whereas straight people, no, yeah. never. They never have to worry about that, ever. I'd say that's probably the main one. That's pretty What sad. do you think? For you? Yeah. I don't know, but I did have something that came to mind. Mm. When I went to P-Town, that, it was funny, you said it and I was like, boy, you're kind of right. How it feels being a straight guy at P-Town is hell. <laughs> I guess that feels anywhere else. <laughs> like, there's not one single straight person on the entire strip. And I was just like, wow, I'm, this is what it feels like. Yeah. But without the hate. I wasn't hated. That yeah, way, you weren't good. hated. But, like, yeah. you know, feeling kind of different in a way. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, I'm ready. I'm just going to start off with a lighthearted one. Come on. It's, it's pretty easy. It's pretty funny. Sorry. As a straight man. I am. What is the gayest thing you've ever done? I might have asked you this once before. I think you did. And I remember what I said, actually, but I'm gonna give you a different answer. Okay, okay. There was one time, this is when I was like, kind of like a horn ball. Calvin could get any girl he wants, which that's all gone now. <laughs> we were at like this party thing, right? And we, well, it wasn't really a party, it was like a little get-to. There was like six or seven people there. There were two girls, and there was a guy. And then the girls like kissed for some reason. Like, huh? Girls do that, so uh, whatever. And then uh, they said, you guys should kiss. It was me and this guy. And we were like, close each other's eyes. And we were like, <clears throat> and it was like, <clears throat> yeah. Okay. And literally just like touched. You know, honestly, I so think I it should be more normalized. Cause like, I feel like yeah. girls always are going to kiss each other just as like, haha, like it's yeah. a joke. It's like not serious. Straight guys should be more <laughs> comfortable with that. Like I just like once or twice maybe. Well, in other countries, that's like normal. They do that thing when they go. Mwah, mwah, yeah, mwah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But here it's like flipping weird. Yeah. But after that, I kissed both the girls, so. Okay. But that was past Calvin. I don't want that now. I just want a wife. Yeah. There's like the double standard because like I have no problem kissing any women. Your eyes look really nice right now. Really? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no. Sorry. Like I have no problem kissing women. If a straight guy was going to kiss a guy, it's just like. But honestly, like Brett would not care if I kissed a woman. <laughs> That's understood. Yeah. Cause like he knows that I don't actually like like them. I guess yeah. so. If maybe if I was bi, obviously like he would be like no. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Kissing and making out is two different things too. That's true. So That's if true. you were like making out with a girl, I think he'd still be like, yeah. What are you doing? All right, your next question. All right, let's see. Let's go. What's the tea? There is some tea. Yeah. So. Oh. Some tea that's coming up is I'm actually working on my own company. I'm not gonna say what it is, but it is. You didn't tell me that. It's a product. It's a it's a brand. Um, and that's it's a doucher. Tea. That's the tea. You're making your own. <laughs> no. Steve Chris douches for, for sale. Second, for a second, I was like, what did you just say? Five ninety nine. No, 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 it's not. Is anal sex really that good? Right. <laughs> Okay. I, I don't know. I'm never gonna do so, that. So you really have to like do it right. I would say this might get a little bit like right. X-rated, but I mean as long as you do it right, I was actually gonna ask you a question 
So this kind of segues into my question. I would say if you do it right, yes, it definitely feels good. Okay. The question that I was going to have for you, how do you feel about where God put the male G-spot? Because that's why it feels so good. It's because like he... That's so weird you say that. He put it there. That's so weird you say that. I was flipping at uh, a cornhole tournament. This middle-aged woman was like, did you know the man's G-spot in his bum? I was like, whoa. <laughs> I didn't know That's that. That's such a random thing to hear. In, a in public. She was like yeah. yelling it. What do I think about that? I yeah. mean, I guess we'll never know, huh? Because I know there ain't nothing going up there. I will say sometimes poop is very satisfying, though. If I'm, like, taking a big old doo-doo, and it's like, <laughs> when it finally comes out, it's like... I would say there are more bottoms in the world in terms of, like... Really? Just gay men. I would say there's wow. a slightly higher percent of bottoms just based on like what I see from memes and everything. So there must be a reason that they like they like taking it up there. That's true. Um, from firsthand experience, it feels pretty good. I'm floating. So. <laughs> oh. Ready? Wait. Well, they're not subscribed. They should do that. Subscribe. Please. Please right. and thank All you. Right. <laughs> Manners. <laughs> Manners goes a long way. Do gay guys get along with lesbians? So I've heard, I've heard contrasting opinions on this. A lot of people seem to think they don't, but actually my neighbor is a lesbian. I love her. I love most lesbians. I haven't really met any that are mean or anything. They're always pretty nice. So why do you think people I don't know. say that? I mean... I feel like you guys go through similar... I mean, granted, you're different genders, but I mean... Yeah. I feel like you're go both going through something. I feel like every time we've gone down to, like, a gay pride thing, too, everybody's like this, so... I've never seen, yeah. like, any pushback. Mm -hmm. That's weird. So, yeah, I would say... I mean, I love lesbians. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you have lesbian friends? What do you think about them? I got, like I got them? a lesbian friend. This might get you canceled. Oh, come on. But No, I'm just kidding. It won't. It okay. won't. Okay. Okay. What's something that gay men do? How many... Am I, like, your only gay friend? Or do you have gay a, guy friend? Yeah. Um, yep. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I have... So what's something that gay men do that annoys you? So I guess something like that... Okay. I'd, okay, or just gay men in general. Oh, uh, okay. Or could be for me. Mm, this is cancelable, but it's all good. Okay. Alright, um, first before I said it, I actually have three friends. One is lesbian, one is gay, and one is straight. That's kind of cool. <laughs> it's like I'm flipping... <laughs> it's like I'm Thanos, just collecting them all. you just said that. <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny to me. <laughs> From my personal experience, I'm not saying everybody's like this. This mm -hmm. may not have to do with gay in particular, but it, it happened a lot when I was like doing YouTube and stuff. You know, I'd get some inappropriate DMs and stuff. And that never really happened with other straight people as much. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying all gay guys are like that. Don't cancel me. I'm just saying that was one thing that I dealt with a lot was a lot of men that would say inappropriate things to me and it would make me uncomfortable. So I guess, you know, eh, watch your boundaries a little bit. I guess that's to say. Okay, yeah, not no, that, that's a good answer for sure because not everybody's like that. Even like me being gay, I definitely get a lot of comments yeah. like that too. Really? I feel like women experience it with absolutely straight men. Absolutely, also. I think yeah. I think it's I think it's not really necessarily a gay thing in particular, mm -hmm. but it's the online part. They know they mm -hmm. have that screen behind them, so yeah, they yeah, say yeah. whatever they want. They never say it to your face unless they're actually crazy. And let's hope they're not. But yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think it's that they're so comfortable behind that screen that they just kind of say things that they shouldn't say but why do you think that it is more normalized to have an age gap in a relationship than it is for a straight relationship in a gay relationship yeah so like okay yeah honestly i would say because our dating pool is so much smaller than straight people mm. there are way more limited options so we tend to have a larger age difference that we are acceptable with um as well as you know, some guys like older men for whatever reasons they may have. Um, yeah. I was actually curious about that. That was like one that when I was driving here, I literally was like, that's a good question to ask. Like, I'm actually curious mm -hmm. about that. So look at my hair. Can I like, yeah, it? it needs to like show your oh, eyebrows. Some dandruff's coming off there. <laughs> All right, I have a really good question for you. This I'm one ready. is going to give you so much potential, so much opportunity right. here. Okay. I'm ready. What would you say if your son told you he was gay? Oh, um, I actually was talking to, I was talking to my friend about this the other day, actually. I don't know. You guys know me. I don't really care. Let me tell you what matters to me. If you're a bad person, oh, then that matters. So if you're some, if you're my son or daughter turns out to be some terrible human being, you betcha I'll do everything I can to fix that.
mm-hmm. but uh, that has nothing to do with being gay. So no, that wouldn't really bother me to be honest with you. I don't care. So what would your exact words be? If you like, told me it's gay, what would you say? Yeah, I'm just be like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Like I don't. <laughs> there's just not a. I wouldn't. That wouldn't make a difference for me. Why would that affect me? You know, just as long mm-hmm. as they're who I raised them to be, which should be a respectful young man, then I'm fine with that. Same with the daughter. If she turned out to be gay, I'd be like, are you a good person? Yes, then I don't care. You know what I'm saying? This is a deep one. What is a bussy? I actually saw something on Twitter the other day. And so it's, in general, a bussy is just a gay guy's asshole. That's okay. I had, <laughs> that's what I, yeah. No, I assumed it was that. I did. But I saw this like connected dots. statistic thing that was like, there's different types of like, Gay, gay guys' asses. I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever looked at my butthole. You've never looked at. No, it? I, I feel like so. even if I was straight, I would have looked at mine before. I've looked at my butt. I looked at my butt. But what about like your whole? I kind of got a big butt, actually. Not to brag. You do have cake. Thanks. It's always like people who don't it. need cake are the ones who have it. So <laughs> it's the basketball, man. Yeah. I'm just jumping around like mm-hmm. a bunny. You know? mm-hmm. What is something that straight people or couples will experience? that gay couples would never understand. Okay. If there's one thing I pride myself on, right, it's respecting women as much as I can. The hardest part of being a straight man when it comes to like, say, asking a girl out, gauging when it's okay to shoot your shot, if that makes sense, because you don't want to make a woman uncomfortable ever. So I guess figuring out that middle ground is pretty hard. I mean, it, Mm-hmm. It's easy for me to not make women uncomfortable. I mean, it's literally yeah. not hard, a challenging thing. But when it comes to you like that girl, you think she's pretty, or you've been friends with this girl for a long time, she's great, you have a crush on her, right? Yeah. And you want to f- fully shoot your shot. I guess it's just finding a proper way to do that, I guess to say, is very hard. Now, let me say the reason why there's a lot of bum guys out there, some terrible men. So I understand why women are like, ugh, men are icky. Understandable. But guess what? I'm not icky. But I'm I feel s- like there's definitely more pressure for you guys, but I think gay men have that too a little bit. Like Absolutely. But for different... You think it's the same reasoning? What was your reason? I was saying because all these terrible, disgusting... Oh, yeah, yeah. Because the bad men, ones. Yes, they're kind of ruining it now for us because... I would say it's the same reason, honestly. Really? Like, wow. The bad gays ruin it for, like, the wholesome wow. gays. I didn't... Wow. <laughs> I did not expect that. Wow. That's... that's Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's, like, that's crazy. I actually... Did not think about that at all. It's almost like gay and straights are more similar than we think. Wow. That was so deep. Wow. You know how many comments and I DMs know. I've been getting asking where you went? I and know. they're like, we just want to make sure he's okay yeah. and all this stuff. So <laughs> would you Listen, explain? That was like one thing that I was thinking of. Cause like, you know, I know that there were some followers that really cared about me. So I just feel bad about that part. The fact that I just disappeared like that. So I apologize. I should have said something, but now let me explain. There was just a lot going on behind the scenes, which is everything. In a way, I wasn't enjoying it anymore. I don't know, it started to become like a, it was just adding a stress on top of the stress I already had for some reason. I don't know. I think I just got overwhelmed and I just decided that I needed to kind of start fresh a little bit. Now, with that being said, I've been working on something. That's all I'm gonna say, I'm gonna leave it at that. Mm. But I do care about all you guys and I'm sorry for disappearing like that. And I hope you all are doing okay. Check out this video where I brought Calvin to Pride. And thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. You already know. Stay in Chris, stay kind. Peace.